How's it guys? Welcome back to another episode of Bassing with Sasha. In today's episode, I've got another unboxing for you guys. Let's get into this unboxing and I hope that you guys enjoy. So this company is actually BWG, they're actually Blue Water Gear. They are another supplier. They actually, the distributors for Six Sense, Waterland, the Sunglasses, Excite Baits, um, Tough Tungsten, you name it. They have a lot of products. I'll leave their website link link down down below if you guys want to go uh, go that side and actually support them. Brent actually um, wanted to send me some interesting new baits, but this is a very interesting unboxing. Very new product, very very new product, and I think that you guys will enjoy that. So let's get into this. Let's cut this guy open. I'm gonna pull out the first bait and I'm gonna go into depth what this is. First bait are the Nico Craws. Nico Baits, it's a JDM product, so it does come from Japan. It's, it's got a elastic technology in it and the nice thing about these baits is that they are fully eco-friendly. I don't know if you guys have seen photos online where a bait gets stuck in the bass's stomach and it swells. They don't have those chemicals in it, but these are completely free of a lot of those bad chemicals that other baits have. That's why this bait is super, super unique, or this brand, eco-friendly, and I think that's way of way of the future, and I think we should all be going to this style of baits because we don't want to hurt our bass or our fish. So let's pop this guy open. So they're quite sticky, um, and I think that's actually the, um, the plastic but as you guys can see, super realistic. It's got the little crawls, it's got the little tentacles, and it's got little feet, as you guys, guys can see there. This is a awesome little product. This is a mud bug. So mud bug, it's quite realistic looking, you know, it's more, more of the brownish color, but I went for this color because a lot of our crabs, crabs, um, not crawfish, but crabs in our lakes have this color. So this is perfect. As you guys can see, it's absolutely stunning. It's got a lot of movement and these little appendages. Man, I think this realism of this bait is great. So elastic material, so it's super stretchy. I don't want to pull off the off the, the crawls. It's a floating bait. It's got no salt in it. I'm actually really keen to fish it. You know, they say, these can catch more than one, one, one fish and I can believe that. You know, I've never fished these before so I can't really give an on honest opinion if it works or not. But from a realism and quality of how it looks, you know, it's super realistic. It's got little eyes at the top. It's got like a rough body here. It's got a little opening there where you can put your hook in it. You know, it's got that typical crawl pattern I think this is an awesome little, little, little bait and um, I'm definitely going to give this a shot and let's see if I can catch something on it. They come in a high quality um, clam, clamshell packaging so, so your bait sits uh, straight as well. I love that about uh, com companies that put effort into their, their packaging. I think that this just sells a product because it gives you that sense of quality. So next Nico bait, this is actually a paddle tail bait. This is the Winnow. This is actually an effusion color. You know, so this is the Winnow. This is a really cool looking bait. I'm, I'm actually really intrigued by this. It's actually triangular shaped instead of round. It's got little, little, little ribs on it, which are also really cool. You know, it's got that little Nico sign at the back. So they've put a lot of effort into it. And as I said, it's got that elastic material. So as you guys can see, I can stretch that guy. Like I don't obviously want to overstretch it. It's really nice. It's got a little, little slot at the bottom where you can put your hook and it's got a little slot at the top. This would actually match up perfectly with, um, with Chatterbait. But I've also noticed that it's quite a small profile but it's got a very big boot at the back. Like this tail is thick. I would say it's about one and a half to maybe two millimeters thick at the back. Not like all the other um, boot tail swim, swim baits I've seen. They have a very thin tail 
and they generally not that durable but this guy I'm really impressed with it seems very very durable obviously because of that elastic material it's not elastic it's just ultra flexible as you guys can see it looks like it's got a lot of action I'm just holding it at the front and half the bait is hanging down yeah this is the fusion color as you guys can see it's got like reds and golds and blacks my goodness this thing is awesome the ribs on it are also very very unique i would definitely throw this around because it's got that durable material this material it'll last a long time and you can catch more than one fish so yeah you get five in a pack so yeah this is the winnow the, the winnow 95 and this is an effusion color very very natural bass like color okay next bait out of the box this is the um the zaza leech um this here caught my eye uh, the zaza leech is super interesting let me just quickly open this because it's actually sealed so first thing i've noticed about this is it doesn't come in a clamshell so let's open this guy up it looks really cool i was very very interested in this bait because i think it's super versatile you know you can throw it um on a texas rig you can throw it on a ned rig you can throw it on a drop shot which was the one reason why i like this bait a lot it's got like a really flat pro profile as you guys can see and when you and when you flip it over it's thick you know it's got that lifelike tail that could imitate imitate a fish it's got little little ribs in it which are really cool very very nice quality feeling feeling plastic that's an interesting smell it's, it smells quite gross actually it smells like something that's dead but yeah this color is black but um the zaza leech or the nico nico baits actually calls it obsidian so yeah this has got that same elastic material super super stretchy uh super durable same material so it's obviously very very eco-friendly this is the zaza leech it doesn't have much to it but yeah it's a simple bait um simple profile and that's usually what does really really well it's like a fluke you know it's got it's got no profile to it and it just flat out catches fish so this as a leech looks really really cool and i'll definitely fish this definitely on a drop shot i think it'll shine as a drop shot bait Ugh, these things stink okay next product out the box um another nico bait as you guys can see and it is sealed i'm guessing it's sealed because it's got a very interesting scent this is the halgramite this is a also a very natural looking bait i think this here would uh, do really really well on a ned rig so this is in a natural color so as you guys can see it's it's got like a lighter brown face and a little bit of a darker belly i think that's really cool and um, it's got a lot of little tentacles on it or little feet so what i'm guessing is this thing like crawls around on the bottom blah, 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 and uh, the fish come and munch it um what i like about these is that they that they're quite simple but they put a lot of detail uh, a lot of attention to detail in it like they got little eyes at the front and these little feelers here also they got like little little tentacles on them like super super attention to detail but also keeping it very very simple the little tail here it's like split at the back and the little splits have little tentacles i don't know if you guys can see that but yeah this is a really cool bait and doesn't have that same leech smell which is interesting because that was sealed this one doesn't smell too bad but yeah as i as i said this will be a perfect ned ned rig bait maybe even throwing it on the mojo would do really really well as well so this halgramite you get four in a pack it's the next generation of ultra finesse soft plastic super soft flexible these baits have incredible action made with nico um proprietary nanotechnology and japanese famous quality these floating baits are bio bio disintegratable swallow safe and toxic free so there you have it like it's on the packaging they must be so 
if you guys have kids and your kids decide, oh, this is a cool little toy and they put it in their mouth, you know that they won't get poisoned. So super safe for kids as well. Uh, five baits in their range. And um, yeah, this is the, their typical net style bait. This is, I think this is gonna do well. This has got a very unique shape um, it's obviously got that typical Ned rig shape, but when it comes to how they designed this bait, I think, I don't know, I think they've gone all out on the, on the actual design. Oh, it smells disgusting. Yeah, this is the Zaza Super Ned. This is a um, 2.8 inch, this is green pumpkin. That's what it looks like. It's super interesting. This has got a section where it's super ribbed. And then it's got this solid piece in the middle here, as you guys can see, solid piece. And then this back section is, has super fine ribs. So yeah, this is a green pumpkin. As I said, it's that elastic material. So it is super durable, super stretchy. If you catch a ton of fish on this and don't get your net stuck, you will catch more than one fish on this. This is cool. This is a green pumpkin black, black flake. It's very translucent. It's actually very, very natural. As you guys can see there, super natural. Like you can actually see my fingers kind of through it. It's more of like a ward, more of a watermelon color. But yeah, this is the super Ned. I really like this. I don't like the smell of this. Let's see if I can catch fish on this. I'll definitely catch a fish on this. And yeah, I love this material. I think it's great. That is the Super Ned. Super Ned and Green Pumpkin. Super simple. You know, they've they've been really, really creative with all their other with all their other names like Obsidian and Mudbug and well natural is pretty boring, but the color is cool. But yeah, that's the Super Ned. So the one thing that I have noticed between these three packages, you get five in this packet. On the Helgramite, you only get four, and then on the Super Ned, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, um, I don't know what the Japanese were thinking about when it came to putting the products in the bait or how many they wanted to put in the, in the product, but I find it kind of funny how they give you five in a packet and they give you four and then they give you eight in, in a packet. In theory, these can all be fished the same way. You know, this is a Ned Rig, this is a Ned Rig, and this is also a Ned Rig, kind of. You know, so what makes this one so special to have eight, this one not so special because you have four, and this one kind of in between where you get five. You know, that's just uh, that's just a, a critique on my side. Like I say, I, I'm not critiquing the bait, I'm just critiquing why they give you so many Neds and so little Helgramites and like the in-between. Why can't they go 8-8-8? Eight, eight, eight? So yeah, um, that's the only thing really that I have to say. Um, I do like the packaging, it's really compact and small, so if you do have smaller bags or a smaller box where you put all your stuff in, it all fits nice and compact. So yeah, there you have it. That's the unboxing that, um, or that's the box that I received from BWG. I just want to say thank you to Blue Water Gear for sending me those Nico baits. I'm really happy that you guys did give me the opportunity to receive these baits and also to give my honest feed feedback on them and fish them. So yeah, thank you very, very, very much. I do appreciate it. But. As always, I hope that you guys did enjoy this unboxings. I really do enjoy doing unboxings. Like these Nico baits was very interesting for me because they are super new. They it's not it's not a very new bait. Uh, it's not a very old bait. It's very very new for South Africa and it hasn't been here for very very long. So I like showing you guys new products. Leave comments down below if you do got if you guys do enjoy these unboxings. Hit that thumbs up for me, hit the subscribe button, and I'll check you guys on another episode of Bassing with Sasha.